Hello guys, what's going on? This is going to be episode 2, series 1 of Cup and the Blindness. <coughs> so, we've had the um, trauma at the beginning and throughout my life. Um, I'm just doing things in, in context how things happen. So, 2002, I was in Middlesbrough College. Uh, done, I can't remember what course I actually done. I think it was IT, would have been IT. In, uh, foundation it was, yeah, I had MVQ IT Foundation. Then I done, I went to Middles, uh, Loughborough College in 2003, which was the RNIB Vocational College. Um, I enjoyed a lot of that actually, but um, like I say, I was staying up during the night and obviously going in late to my lessons and stuff. Um, but yeah, it was all right. It was good. Um, bit skint at times, you know. But it's it. That was the way it went. I met up with some people, and you know they were all right with us. And basically, what I'm trying to say is, I've I've been I've been brought up just to be, not I, I don't want to say normal because that's not the word, but to well to live a normal life. Because people are stereotyped and that's how people want you. But anyway, so it goes to Loughborough, 2003, um, till 2006. Met my girlfriend there. Be, it, she's been my rock. Um, 2006, come back to Middlesbrough. And at that time, I was a very angry person because I couldn't find no work. And I'd always been, like somebody who wanted to work actually nearly got a job in garlands in middlesbrough and i will say this passed all the tests they told me i had the job then they rang me and said no you haven't got the job your screen reader doesn't meet our system they should have had that screen reader but that's not about that so then actually no sorry let me go back in 2004 my best friend who i classed as my brother uh, Rob Bramless, God rest his soul, he died. And I wanted to go to the funeral. But I got told I couldn't because I, I had an exam. But I knew he was okay. Like I, I knew he knew I was okay. Because he was the other half of me. Like, not the other half, but like, he, me and him at that bond, we were close. Very close. It ripped me apart when he died and that. But um, God rest his soul, Rob. You're looking down on us, mate. Um, you know, and I wish all his family well. I don't really know all of them, and I, I know well, I don't even know his mum to be honest. But I've seen her. So let's get back to what we're doing. Anyway, in two thousand and two thousand and six, applied for a job at Garlands, as I just said. Um, nothing really happened that's poignant then. But then, obviously, in 2012, a relative got stabbed of mine. And I was there, I witnessed all that. It didn't affect me straight away, but Alexa, reminder. months after. Hang on, that's just me, Alexa. I don't know why it's doing that. It just, I don't know what it is. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to the future. Do you know what I mean? Like, everything I can do on here to help people, I'm going to do. And, you know, I'm, it's not hard. You know what I mean? I feel sorry for the people that are just going blind. Like, in, in old, like not just old age, but young people that are going blind. Because it must be harder for them, you know, to physically... I don't know. It just must be harder for them. I'm just checking on the time, that's all. So yeah, it must be hard for them. And if there is anyone blind out there that is struggling with anything, get in contact. My email, ryanroberts3284 at gmail.com. All you need to do is get in contact. But once again, like, comment and subscribe and I will be uploading this. Thank you very much. Save. I hope you all stay safe. Thank you. Bye.